Hello friends, today I'm going to be showing you all just a quick simple how I do my makeup for work. Hello everyone, you want to say hi? Say hi to the people. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> so, let's get started here. Don't mind this dog that I'm pet sitting that's joining us today. So I'm going to be looking kind of this way just so I can see the mirror that's in front of me. So, let's start with a little bit of primer. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Prep and Prime here. Please don't eat that. <laughs> I'm just going to put this all over my face. And this does take about 30 seconds to just kind of soak into your skin. So I'm just going to let that dry here. Normally this is when I would get my beauty blender wet to use that, but I already pre-moistened it because I have no sink access here. So I'm just going to grab my Yulma Beauty Foundation. I'm just going to do a couple pumps on here. I have been doing three pumps of this foundation, but I think that's honestly a little bit much. So I'm going to go for like two and a half just because I don't want to waste product because it's expensive. So, and I just don't think my face needs that much of it. So I'm just going to try to go in with two and a half pumps here. See how it goes. I'm just going to pat this all over my face. Just blend it in. I am aware that this is slightly different from my my skin color but it's just because I do like to be a little bit more tanned on my body and I don't like to tan my face so I do just pick a foundation that is a little bit darker than my skin color just so that my face matches my body a little bit better just blending all of this in all right I think I maybe could have gone with even just like a little bit less product as well here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Just blending it down onto my neck as well, just so that you never want someone to say nice foundation because <laughs> that means they can see that you are wearing foundation. It's supposed to be just very seamless, so. You blend all that in and it is pretty full coverage so I am going to try to just cover up my acne with it as well instead of using a concealer. All right, done with that step. So now I'm going to put on a little bit of my Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray just to set all of this in place here. I just lightly missed it. This don't eat that. Don't eat my beauty blender. Stop it. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. I don't know where to put this where he's not gonna eat it. Okay. Um you can't eat this. You can't have this. <laughs> okay. So as I wait for my face to dry down a little bit here, I'm gonna get my next product ready. So I'm almost running out of this, and this was surprisingly hard to find, this Essence All About Matte powder. So I don't know, it's sold out at most of the Ulta's near me, and most of the CVS's near me, so thankfully I found some, like, at, ironically, the closest CVS to me. They had, so they had one in stock, and they did have two, so I bought two of these, but I don't know why this product is a little bit hard to come by right now. <laughs> I love the little cameo here. So I'm just putting this on my face lightly with a Laura Mercier puff. I think any puff would work, um, but I did see this in like a Facebook reel or like a TikTok that the person that was doing this like did use this powder and they used a Laura Mercier puff. So I'm using the Laura Mercier puff. Do my face here. All right, that looks pretty good. That is all blended in. All right. I'm panicked that my dog is going to eat all of these things, but we'll proceed. So I'm going to go in here with a little bit of my L'Oreal 
um, infallible 24 hour powder this can be used as a foundation but I just like to use it as a powder on top of my face don't eat that <laughs> Just because I feel like the like white setting powder does kind of take <clears throat> some of the color away from my face. So I do just like to make sure I, I put it back with... I'm so panicked you're going to eat all of this. I do just like to put that color back with this powder here. And just blend it on down to my neck as well. Don't eat any of this. <laughs> So I'm going to go in here with my Physicians Formula Bronzer. And I'm just going to go in here with a brush. I do try to grab a little bit more product than I probably need. Just because when I put my blush on, I feel like it does kind of make my bronzer less noticeable. So I do like to just go in a little bit heavier on my cheeks with it, put a little bit on my forehead, here underneath my shin here, just to kind of make it look nice. Okay, let me grab a box so I can put the products that I already used in here, because I'm panicked that my dog is going to eat these things, so. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of my blush. I'm going to go in here with my, don't eat that. This is expensive. No. <laughs> I'm going to go in here with my NARS blush. And I'm just going to grab this. I try to go in a little bit lightly on my face just so that I don't end up with too much blush because the first time I used this blush, it was a little bit disastrous and I had way, way too much blush on my face, so. Because I try not to look too, too much like a, a clown. I do like it to be, I do like to have a nice blush, but not overkill, so. Like this side's a little bit much, but it will work. All right, so stop, you don't. You don't want anything in here, I'm telling you. None of this is food. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in here with my highlighter. I'm gonna go in here with my Ofra highlighter. And I'm just going to hit the high points of my face with this. Just add a little bit of that sparkle that I love to my face. A little bit to my nose. I love a good, I love a good nose highlight, but I feel like he's like ready to eat this, even though this like fully is not going to fit. Okay. Let me. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Now I'm going to go in here with a little bit of my KVD Shake Eyeshadow Primer and I'm going to a little bit of this and just put it on both of my eyelids. And just so that I can put on a little bit of eyeshadow here. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, well, I made that worse. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to go in here with a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple for my work day here. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to do like one color because I think I'm going to do a little bit something, a little bit of something tonight. So I'm just going to go in here with my Natasha Denona Mini Nudes Palette. And I'm just going to grab this nice base color and just sweep it over my eye just so that I have a little something on my eye for the day and then I'm probably going to go back and do like a little something else tonight but for now I just want to have a little something 
on my eye. I honestly typically don't even do this for my work day, so this is a little bit of something extra. All right, so I'm just sweeping this color all over my lid, just so we have like a little something there. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and just take the same color and put it under my eye. Same thing over here. This color is not super obvious or not super pigmented. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of both. Um, so it really doesn't show up under my eye all that much, but I do just really like to have it. Because I do really like to have that under eye color. So, I'm going to go in here and try to do a thin little line with my KVD Tattoo Liner here. Just to add in a little line. And one on the other side. I feel like I haven't been doing well at doing a thin line. Probably because I'm rushing. Okay. These are actually not bad today. Could be worse, could be better. I'm gonna go in here with my eyelash curler because I feel like this is something that I often forget to do. Go in here with my lash curler. Curl up my lashes a little bit. And I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna go in here with my Pacifica Vegan Collagen Lash Primer. And just do a couple little swipes of this on each eye. I do like the primer. Unfortunately, it does make my eyelashes white, so it is a little bit harder to cover up, especially if I don't do a great job of my mascara. There'll be like little white eyelashes, so I do like to Put on a little bit but not too much otherwise then i'm like really trying to go in with my mascara to cover it back up so i'm gonna try not to get this on my face here i'm just gonna go in here with yet another kvd product and i'm going to do my mascara i do feel like this does go on pretty quickly so I don't need too much product. I don't need to keep like dipping it back in here to use it. Just a couple of swipes and it's pretty good. This mascara does get a little bit chunky, I guess. So I do have to be kind of careful with the application of it. So that's again why I try not to put too much product on. But with other mascaras, you could definitely dip them back in, go back in and do some more coats. But with this one, just my lashes get like too chunky and it does I do feel like this one does dry pretty quickly so it is just harder if you do want to layer um but for me just typically every day before work I don't have time to layer my mascaras so this works for me but I know it's kind of like a hit or miss product for a lot of people all right just those couple of swipes and we're looking pretty good just do a little bit of my lower lash line mascara as well all right that looks pretty good now i'm going to draw in some eyebrows for myself so i do have a little bit but i do like to have i do like to have a little bit more so i'm going to go in here with my morphe pencil and i'm just going to draw a thin little outline of what i want it to look like I can always go back in and clean it up with like a q-tip afterwards if I want, but I just kind of want to put put some sort of an outline on so I can fill it in and then clean it up from there as needed. I do try to make my eyes as similar as possible, but I do have different shaped eyes, so it is a little bit trickier, so I just try to make it look close. Okay, I already don't love these. This is already a little bit chunkier than I wanted. All right. I can always go back and clean it up. So let's just call that a good starting place and then try to draw something similar. 
over on this side here. I feel like I'm liking this side better. I don't know. This side I think I slipped and I made it too, too chunky, but that's all right. It can always be, it can always be touched up and fixed here. Okay. All right. That looks decent. I'm going to call that good enough. So I'm going to go in here with the Morphe pomade in the same shade. Um, this is a lighter brown, even though I do have like naturally darker brown hair. I do go in here with just like a lighter brown, um, just because I don't want my eyelash or my eyebrows to be like too crazy dark. So I do feel like that kind of more natural eyebrow look is in. If I do my eyebrows dark brown, it is just a very intense look that I don't, that I don't love. So, just filling these in here with the palm aid. I am going in here with a heavier hand towards the end in the middle, and then just lighter towards the front. And then I am just going to feather it out here a little bit with just a little spoolie brush so that it's not super intense looking at the front of my brow. I feel like I'm trying to make these better and I'm just like taking off critical pieces, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to call that good. I'm going to go in here with my NYX Control Freak Brow Freeze. Just to keep these eyebrows, I just drew on my face on. Just go in here with a little bit of this. I typically like to wipe this wand off afterwards, um, but you don't have any access to it here, so hopefully the brow gel stays clear-ish. Now, final steps. I'm going to go in here with my MAC Prep and Prime, um, which is kind of just like an overpriced lip balm honestly but I do really like it I am suckered into this product because it's just to help keep your lipstick from like when you eat something instead of just having like the ring around your lips it's supposed to just kind of wear off more evenly and it's just to help keep your lipstick on longer um, I probably should do like a test comparison to see this versus like a chapstick um, because I still kind of get that, like, at the end of the day, my lipstick's still not totally on my face. Um, so I don't know if this was, like, a worthwhile investment for me. But I am suckered into it, and it is, like, a little bit pricey, so I like it. You want to come sit with me? Okay, or not. You can just stare at me. I'm going to go in here with a little bit of my Lime Crime Matte Lipstick in the color Riot. It is, I feel like, a work-appropriate red. <laughs> Just go in here. I like to do the lower lip first, otherwise I feel like I get like a weird line on my top lip of product that is harder to blend. I try to just put the product on. Come back here. Come here, come sit with me. I'm almost done, my dog is not cooperating. <laughs> okay, I try to put it on and then I try to smile and just see what it looks like and then see if I need to touch up anything. Honestly, that's, that's pretty good. I don't like to overline my lips like too much or do anything too crazy. So I think that's good for now. All right, and then last step here, I'm gonna go in here with my Jumbo NYX Matte Finish Spray. Just spray down my face. And just try to fan it a little bit. If I had my fan, I would use that, but I'm just gonna use my hand here and just dry it down. But This is the finished look. I'm not gonna do my hair today. I'll maybe put a little bit of hair oil in it, but I'm not going anywhere when I work from home, so no one really cares. <laughs> what I look like but let me try to grab a little bit of better lighting to show you all it looks like here but just like quick natural for work I like it see if I can get my dog to say say goodbye come here come here come here yeah. 
Anyways, all right. Say goodbye. <laughs> all right. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.